All right, got some information for you. Below is a setup where you can go to Calendly and book a call for me. Number one, these are not free calls. They're not free calls. I will explain to you in this video why I'm no longer doing free calls and I will get into some ideals and things that you need to understand for you to build your new online business. That link's below. If you want to get business credit, I can help you get business credit. But you need to have a credit score of 700 and you need to have some income. So if you're one of those people, go below, book a call. It's not a free call and we'll get into that. So why am I doing this video? I, I uploaded a new video to Hustlers Kung Fu, sent out some emails and the very first people who are the, the first to scream are the people like give you a good example. The one of the people who was like, take me off this list is someone that signed up for 30 days to 2,500 in 2016. So I went to the person's profile and I looked at it and they signed up and they literally completed 1% of this free course, 1%. If they had actually went in and did the work, they would be making money. And this is why I feel that, um, you know, content and other things get you trashy people because like literally I've been running some ads and like uh, literally we stopped the ads. We stopped the ads because, you know, this is how the algorithm works. Once an ad starts to get a certain type of person and they say, oh, this is what this, they go out and find more of those people. It, it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. So essentially we stopped the ads and created some new ones and we'll start running those next week. But the, this whole notion of like, I think I, I finally learned my lesson. For years, I've been giving out free courses, things to help people. And these people are not the kind of people to take action. They're not the kind of people to take action. Because 2016, I gave 2016, I gave away a lot of free courses, build up my email list and all this other stuff, right? With people who will not take action, people who will not do anything. And this is one of the things I saw, like, let me explain to you. Everyone in America knows how credit works. You need to have good credit. You need to have income. Everyone knows this. Why did I have all of these people with bad credit scores and no income responded to my ad? I have a thought process on this. One, it was me in the ad. I was a black person. And honestly, black folks are looking for scams. And a lot of people are like, this must be some new kind of scam where I can have bad credit, no income or low income, and I can get me this $50,000 credit card. And once, like literally, the new ads are totally different and they clearly state that you need to have a 700 credit score and you need to have income. Because one of the things I've seen is, you know, years and years ago, I was on the Gary V train. I was really listening to the Gary V podcast. I was listening and I started to give and give and give and give and give. And this created some really bad situations. Now, I will say there is a group of people that I did give the courses to who actually took the information, started the business, and then they bought something in the future. But that, that, I would say that would maybe be 25% where 75, 85% of the people never did anything with the course. And this is one of the things I've learned, like um, running ads and talking to people. This is kind of like the pretty girl syndrome. I had a friend, her name was Melissa. Melissa was stunning, gorgeous. And we were having a conversation one day talking about, you know, people approaching her. And she said that the men, good looking men, um, wouldn't approach her. But she said the, what, what term did she use? She said the beautiful bums, the beautiful bums. She said, well, approach me in a heartbeat. And I said, what do you mean beautiful bum? She's like, I was at this bar and I was sitting there and she's like, this guy who looked to be a few movements above homelessness approached her 
and he, he shot his shot. She said he was missing teeth and everything. And she says, that's the kind of guy that would approach me. And this, this is kind of one of the things that happens is if they don't have to pay any money, why not? Why not? Why not take a shot? Why not shoot their DMs? Why not? Why not? Because they, they're not going to lose anything. And what I'm seeing is over time that, you know, free content can get you clients, but it also gets you a lot of bad experiences because like I've literally been on the phone and this is one of the things like I, I haven't really been doing a lot of sales calls because number one, the, you know, people will book a phone call and not show up. And literally I had someone get me on a phone, you know, book me for a phone call and they, they try to do a confirmation. I said, look, I'll be there. I know what it is to set up a phone call to wait on someone who doesn't show up and who will literally ignore your messages. Um, this kind of goes back to when Big Mama died. Like, I'm, I'm about to go somewhere a little strange. When I was a kid, if you told someone you was going to show up, you showed up. That was normal, customary behavior. Today, mm -mm, that's not a thing. And one of the things that I have consistently seen is that people will, like the people who signed up for the free courses. It was a free course, they signed up, and they did absolutely nothing with it. This is the same thing that is happening with uh, the people in the free phone calls. Now, incidentally, I had no problem booking a dentist, I had no problem with another doctor, I had no problem with a CEO. You know, professional people usually showed up for the calls early, but I don't even know how to classify these people because I don't have a lot of information, so it's hard to say that there's people, but we're going to call them the 80%. And the, 80, the 75 to 80%, these people have never built anything, never accomplished anything, and they don't have a certain type, like literally, whenever I talk to another business owner, someone that's actually... I don't have these issues like they will show up, they will be on the call, they will be ready. But when I talk to the 80 percent, the chances of them flaking on the phone call are about 90 percent. 90 percent, they will not show up. And if you get their phone number and you text and call them, they will not answer. They will not answer. And my thought process on this is these people are not actively trying to do anything. Like the ads I was running for the how to build cr business credit. Once again, you need a 700 credit score. You need some income. You cannot have bad credit. You cannot have derogatory items on your credit reporter. You're not going to get any business credit. This was the main group of people responding to the ad. And I'm just sitting there like, because, you know, I thought about it. I really, really thought about it. I was like, why are these people responding to the ad? And then I went back and I looked at the ad and I must take responsibility I did not make it abundantly clear what you needed to have for business credit. So that's on me. I did not make it abundantly clear. And one of the things I see, uh, I got all kind of strange comments. It's like this, this one chick, she's like, hey, yo, teach me how to be rich like you. And once again, th this whole concept. And whenever I go back and talk to when I first became a YouTube personality and I start selling stuff online, I go through it, first year, 62,000, second year, you know, it, it was a process, it was a process. But there are people out there who had bad money management skills that for some reason feel that they can take a course for 30 days and they're gonna get rich, regardless of their personal circumstances. And like when we go back to me starting on the internet and me doing the things I did, I had sales skills. I knew that I had to market. I knew that I had to sell. I knew there were certain things I knew before I started the YouTube channel. I knew that I had to do these things. And, you know, one of the things I'm seeing is a lot of people feel are in a position where they're not 100% sure of what they have to do. And this is why I think free courses don't work for people because they have no interest. Because like literally, 
after the Gary V's phase, I call that the Gary V phase of my life. I'll probably not, never do any more free courses or anything like that. Cause like literally, I, once again, I tried recently to give the money management course away for free. And I had people in there playing games versus taking the course and learning how to manage their money. And I'm just sitting there like, I, I'm just going to be hundred percent straight with you. I feel that 25, like 25, maybe 30% of the country is that population that would actually take action, do things, start businesses and do these things. And that 70% of the country, it ain't going to never happen. Once again, have you noticed a, in a, a rapid increase in neck tattoos? And I'm beginning, like society is definitely changed. It has definitely changed because I, I went to the bank and the banker had a neck tattoo. And that, that was like, oh, that's different. That's really different. But what I'm seeing is, you know, and I'm kind of about to go over here is that people don't want to work jobs. Everyone is looking for that secret slick hack. And these are the people who are not destined to start an online business. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, when I started my first course, the first version of my sales course wasn't that successful. It, it was like I had to use some software. I had to put this stuff up together. I think I made like maybe $10,000 off that course. Wasn't really successful at all because I was like putting this, putting this. And then I found my online course platform. And that, that first version wasn't successful. It just was a hideous mess. And then I got to think of it, just took off, took off. And then... What, where did I just go there? At first, you don't succeed like me running these ads. Um, me running these ads, well, I have a team, but it's been a hot mess. It's been a hot mess, and we got to go ahead and work on some stuff next week because, number one, the lead quality was, even though, once again, these people are Americans, they know how the credit system works, people are just looking for an opportunity, I suppose. And these people, when you're paying to run ads, they are just nothing but a waste of time. Uh, Thursday, I said, turn the ads off. Just turn the ads off. And I was hoping that the new ads would be ready for Friday. They weren't. And then we're gonna start running the new ads next week because the lead quality was just trash. It was just trash. And then I get these people. And also when I was doing the phone calls, I had someone who had a 495 credit score, no job, and an attitude. He had an attitude. And, you know, like, let's talk about credit repair because I'm getting ready to get into a form of credit repair. And I will explain what I mean by a form of credit repair. Years and years ago, when I got divorced, I had bad credit. And I fixed my credit myself. It took me eight months, I would go to work, I would come home, I would work on my credit. It was an ongoing thing. So with that as a lesson, um, there's versions of things that will fix your credit, Metro 2. But what I am seeing is even with Metro 2, even with factual disputing, it still takes months to fix someone's credit. Months. And there are people out there, and I'm about to say it, who are just literally going to steal your money. If you go to a credit reporting service, a credit repair service, and they charge you, let's say, 500 bucks, <clears throat> they don't look at <clears throat> they don't look at your credit report. <clears throat> There's no conversation. They charge you 500 bucks and say submit certain documents. More than likely, they're not going to fix your credit because more than likely <clears throat> they'll do one dispute and then they'll walk away. And I can tell you from personal experience to fix your credit, depending on what's on there, what you're dealing with, it usually takes, I would say a, a quick turnaround would be three months and the usual time would be six to nine months to fix your credit, where you would literally be sending disputes and looking at disputes and sending stuff. And like Metro 2, from what my research and I have found a way to actually use Metro 2, it still takes time. 
And one of the things is people are looking for an overnight solution that their credit's messed up. They'll pay someone two, 300 bucks, and then they will literally have their credit report cleaned in 30 days at a low cost. Um, that's just not going to happen because one of the issues that happens with rebuilding your credit, and let me just go ahead and tell you this is if you just have bad credit, like you have a lot of bad credit, right? And you go in there and you start taking that bad credit off your credit report, right? Your score is not going to change. You have to add new positive trade lines to change up your score. And if you don't add these new trade lines, uh, your score is not going to change, even though stuff is coming off. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, I'm going to do a version of credit repair because there's a group of people. Number one, they don't have no money. They have no money. They're working a crappy job and they've got bad credit and they want someone to come in and offer them maybe fix their credit for 150 and never charge them it. That's something I can't do. And that's why on the thing I've listed up, because essentially what I want to do with credit repair is number one, repair your credit. Well, number one, teach you how to use money because typically that's where people typically run into an accident with credit. Teach you how to use, how to, um, how to optimize and use your income, fix your credit, add new trade lines, and then get you into a business in the future so you can make more money. And that's why I mean, you know, for my, my form of, you know, because essentially what I'm going to do, and uh, I made up my mind, is I'm going to teach you money management, get you in the art of holding, and fix your credit for free. See, because you'll be paying for the course information and in the background, I'll be working on your credit. So this is going to be, you know, number one, just the money management course. Number one, to get your finances straight and work on that is going to be insanely helpful. And then two, teaching you how to manage money and then teaching you how to set up a business and then fixing your credit on the back end. Now, why am I going this way? What did I just tell you? It's usually going to take six, nine, maybe a year to fix your credit. But if you're working on your money management, you're working on starting a business and you're doing all this other stuff, by the time your credit is fixed, you're making more money. And then you have a better understanding of money. Because like literally, I've looked at a lot of people who are doing credit repair. There are some people who are doing really smart credit repair. I found this girl who instantly gets her customers from TikTok and she's doing it right. And, you know, she has a TikTok like, you know, people are like talking about, you know, she charges between 120 per month up to 140 per month. And she did a TikTok like people are talking about your prices are too high and all this other stuff. And she's like, hey, you know, it's going to take me six. And this is what she said. It's going to take me six to nine months to clean up your credit. Six to nine months. So that's appropriate credit repair. And once again, based upon the people that I talked to that responded to my ad, these people weren't in the position to pay that. They were not in the position to pay that. And this is where we get into a situation where you have a problem. The marketplace has a problem and the marketplace cannot afford your solution to the problem. And that's why I said, you know, I'm going to do a form of credit repair because essentially if I get someone who's just like, I just want credit repair. I don't want to learn how to organize my money. I don't want to learn how to build a business. I don't, I'm, I'm just not going to work with them because this is one of the things that's going to happen. And I already know it. I can say in this video, I'm going to get people who's like, look, I don't want all that other stuff. Is there a way you could discount it? That's going to be the, the hack. Any way that I can discount it, any way that I, you know, that's going to be the hack. That's going to be the big question. It's like, look, I don't need the money management. I don't want to learn how to build a business. I don't want to prepare myself to get business credit in the future. I just need this now. Can you do it for the cheap? And the answer is going to be no, no, because typically one of the things that I have found out in business is the customers that you give the best deals to are often the worst customers. Often they're the worst customers and I already know because I'm getting ready to start advertising this, getting ready to get into the new train. I already know I'm gonna have a bunch of people who are gonna come at me like, hey, I don't want this stuff. I just want the credit repair. And also, let's talk about this. 
you need some money to repair your credit. Because as things are being knocked off your credit report, you're going to need to establish positive trade lines. And I have a list of companies that you can go ahead and get secure credit cards, things you can do to fix and repair your credit. But it's going to cost money. Is it going to cost millions of dollars? No. Is it going to cost $100,000? No. Is it going to cost $10,000? Possibly. Because ideally, the best situation is going to cost a little bit more money. But once again, this is why you get into the money management course so you can go ahead and establish yourself and set your money up correctly. But one of the things that I consistently see on the finance side is that people don't want to set themselves up. They just don't want to, they don't want to file taxes. They don't want to present themselves correctly to the banks. And like, let me go ahead and say this seven years in the future, I think it's going to be virtually impossible to repair bad credit. Let me say this again, seven years in the future, it's going to be impossible to repair bad credit. Why? Technology. They're going to get it to the point where the technology is going to be so tight that if you have bad credit, you're just going to have to wait until it ages off seven years in the future. So right now, this is the time you need to be fixing your credit, getting as much credit as possible because the future is coming, whether you're preparing yourself or not, it's coming. And, you know, I, I find this to be quite interesting with people who, um, don't understand money, don't have any financial literacy and literally just want to get these huge credit limit credit cards so they can go to the Beyonce concert or they can do this other stuff because their income doesn't allow them to go to the Beyonce concert. And one of the things I see is, you know, um, just be straight up. The number of people who are going to take advantage of these opportunities in the future are going to be small. They're going to be small. I'm not going to get like a thousand people who are going to hop on this. I'm probably going to get maybe 200, 300 people who will hop on this. And then we can go ahead and start to build up their business, fix their credit, teach them how to prepare for business credit. I already know I'm not blind to this because once again, that 80%, they don't want to, they, they don't want to, they don't, don't want to do anything. I literally see comments where people are literally tired or working a 40 hour job. And I'm not trying to be um, dismissive or make fun, but I'm just sitting here like, we had, this is 2024. So people in 20s, in the 1900s, in the 18, in the, well, yeah, the 1900s, we had centuries of people working 40 hours a week. I'll, I'll tell you where the 40 hour week came. The 40 hour week came after the Great Depression because during the Great Depression, people were working 60, 70 hours a week. And what they were trying to do was get it down to a 30 hour week. And then business interfered and said, can we do 40? And then uh, Teddy Roosevelt signed it in. And that's how we came up with the 40 hour work week because before we had people working 60, 70, 80 hours a week. No overtime, none of that stuff. All this stuff came at the end of the Great Depression. But right now we have people who literally would come on YouTube and say working a 40 hour a week job is stressing them. It's not good for their mental health. And I, I, I would classify these people in the 80 percent and the 80 percent is going to be it's going to be rough. I mean, I can say this now, but until it happens to them, they're not going to understand. They're not going to pay attention to it. I can give them all kinds of warnings, but it, it doesn't matter because this is a group of people that doesn't want to work. They don't want to manage their money. They don't want to manage their credit. They just simply do not want to do any of that. They just don't. And you could go ahead and show them and like literally, uh, I already know because I got the, the links for the phone calls. I already know I'm not going to get a lot of phone calls because it's going to require you to make a financial commitment to get on the phone with me. And that right there is going to wipe out the 80%. The 80% is like, whoa, 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 whoa. this means I got to have a plan. This, this literally is going to wipe out 80% of the people who would look at that offer because there's a consequence. There's a financial consequence. If I was just to put that down and take free calls, 
I would get a whole bunch of calls. I would get calls, like when I was doing the free calls, about 35% of the calls were from people who didn't have a job, which means they didn't have money to invest in anything. And I would get a bunch of calls from people who are just curious. They're just curious. They, they don't really want to do anything. So by me having a financial list down there, things that you got to pay to actually get on the phone, that just going to wipe out a lot of um, what I call wasted time. Because when I was like, literally, I was I took my workouts and like because I had to be there by the phone and I was working out Saturday and Sundays and literally it, it, it became a little depressing because I, we're booking these calls and no one would show up. No one would show up because it was free. There was no financial consequence. And many of these people were just merely curious or something like that. And they did not have a real interest in personal development or moving to the next step. There was no real interest because, you know, then we started collecting their phone numbers and then we would do a reminder the day before and then an hour before and then 10 minutes before and they still wouldn't show up. They still wouldn't show up, which tells me that these people were not prepared to make any investment in their future. They just weren't. And you, you could not like literally like today, uh, I had some people who's like, please remove me from this email list. And I was like, OK. And I look and I go back and I look at it. This is someone who signed up for the free course that actually didn't do it. Didn't do the free course. And I, I have people all day long who come up and like, hey, your courses are too expensive and all this other stuff. But when I was giving courses away for free, people still wouldn't do them. So it's not that my courses are too expensive. That's not the problem. The issue is you don't want to do the work to be successful in the future. That's the issue, because literally I had a lot of people who took 30 days to 2500 and they did quite well. They did quite well in life. But the issue that I have today is people are looking for something super cheap, super effective, that they can get in and start making a lot of money. Like there's this thing right now that's called uh, Eddie Cumberbatch. It's called a growth operator. And I looked at it and Eddie is a really smart guy because he's figured out a way to convince a whole bunch of people that there's literally all of these operators out there with these huge followings that are literally waiting on someone to come and say, hey, come here. Help me set up this organization so we can start making some monthly reoccurring revenue and I'm going to give you 50% of the revenue. I already have the following and I, I just started laughing. I just started laughing because this growth operator tactic is not going to work on the super successful operators. It's just not. I mean, they're like, I'm going to give you 50%. I make the videos. I have the following I, and I'm going to give you 50%. That's just not going to add up in their heads. And I'm going to give you X amount of dollars to set this up. You know, th the reason it's working now is because it's a fancy term. But I would say that about a year from now, it's going to play out a year from now because the super successful, savvy content creators like going. What's her name? Um, uh, Bad Barbie. I think that's her name. She had like 16 million um, Instagram followers and then she went to OnlyFans and made like 50 million. She did that by herself. She did not have anyone coming in and say, hey, I'm, I'll help you out and I'll get 50. She, she did that by herself. So what you're going to see is these super savvy, successful content creators. They're not going to go for this growth operation stuff. It ain't happening. And that's when this business is going to play out. But right now, there's a lot of people who literally got in early and there's a bunch of operators who are not really savvy and literally, you know, because there's there's some operators. I personally don't think you can pay, create a paid community around what they teach. I just don't think you can, uh, depending on what their niche is and what they're talking about. So with that, you will see a lot of stuff. But once again, um, you have a lot of people who want to get on the phone and have a conversation about nothing. And that's one of the things that I found out with being on the phone because you know it was a numbers game and you know if like let's go ahead and say if i had 50 phone calls 
in my sales ability, I know I could close 10. And 50 phone calls would mean they booked the a phone call and actually talked to them. That was the huge problem. A lot of these people were booking calls, but they would just completely disappear. You, you wouldn't even see them. And that was an issue because we really couldn't get into the dynamics because once again, it was free. There was no financial consequence. There was no setup. There was no situation. And one of the things that is happening is I've consistently seen it that free gets you trash clients, free gets you trash leads consistently. And part of this is, and I can't hundred percent blame it on free. Part of it is the ad I made, cause I got to take responsibility for that. And I was unaware once again, like the car rental business, I was unaware of customer behavior. And I was so unaware that it like literally it's, it's just blowing my mind that someone with a credit score of 591 would answer a funding ad about how to get money. That just blew my mind. It just blew my mind. And I'm just like, you, so you really sit around, you really sitting around thinking that there's a bunch of rich people that are going to give you a lot of money when you have bad personal credit. Let me explain to you what's going to happen. This is something that's going to happen like seven years in the future. It's going to be virtually impossible to get bad things off your credit report right now. You can, but as we go in the future, it's going to be impossible. And also on that to get a credit card with credit unions, you have to show your bank statement and you have to show your pay stubs. That's going to be normal behavior in seven years. So only people who are qualified to get credit will be able to get credit. I mean, you will not even be able to get like a $2,000 credit limit on a credit card because you don't have those kind of financials. So this is the time to act. This is the time to get it because this time in history is not going to last forever. It's just not. So those are my opinions and that's just what I'm thinking. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in the next one of these videos. There should be some more videos around where you can just go ahead and jump into them and I'll, I'll talk to you in the next one.